you have all the ingredients that you need? Uh, I got all the non-perishables because I can hide them, uh, and I'll pick up the rest on Christmas Eve. Why wait? Mm, well, I think Becca's been sneaking into the kitchen for snacks while I'm sleeping. Either that or we have rats. Oh no. Do we have rats? Does she take the Oreos out of the sleeve or does she chew them out from the side? <laughs> okay, yeah, it, it's Becca. You're really serious about this girl, aren't you? How do you know if something's serious? Well, there isn't just one way, but... If one of you expresses a need or a desire and your first thought is, I've got to find a way to take care of that, that's a good sign. <laughs> she does that too, you know. I do know that. <laughs> Maybe that's the, the lesson to take away from this year that's been so fraught. There's so many ways to, to love each other, to, to care for each other if we look for them. I like that. Hi, puppy. I do too. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Simone, <laughs> you wanted me to come on here and apologize. I said it had to be a sincere apology. I'm super sincere. Now hand over the yam. Why is Becca, a complete stranger, able to get you to fight for this sweet potato more than you ever fought for us? Okay, calm down. <laughs> Excuse me? Wrong thing to say. You think? Simone, do you remember why we went to the beach that day? I don't know. It was summer, we had a day off. No, we don't get a day off. We just have days where we don't have money coming in. And you had a really bad stretch. <laughs> Five rejections in that week, one right after the other, it was starting to get to you. So I suggested that we go to Rockaway and take a day to reset. And look, <laughs> no offense to your acting friends, but you guys love to get on the phone and talk about the industry endlessly. You were napping so peacefully under that beach umbrella and they kept calling and texting. I just wanted you to have a day away from it all. So I put your phone on airplane mode. And who called while it was in airplane mode? Your agent. Why did my agent call, Dave? She wanted you downtown to replace an actor in a movie? A scene shooting that day. Who was directing the movie, Dave? Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. How often do black women get called for Scorsese movies? Not often enough. That is an understatement. I appreciate that you thought I needed a beach day to pull me out of my funk. But you know what would have really pulled me out of my funk? Working. Simone, I'm so sorry. You're brilliant and you deserve to be famous. It's not about fame for me. It's about the craft. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Will you release the sweet potato? Tell Becca I'll mail it out tomorrow. It's really great to see you. I know. my quarantine tomorrow. We could rent a car. You're gonna try and rent a car on Christmas Eve? We could try. 
Becca, I'll be fine. You and Mateo have each other. Patrick and Jacob seem very happy in their cottage. I looked that place up on Zillow. Cottages don't have a tennis court and a heated infinity pool. <laughs> My children are happy and healthy this year. I'll be just fine here. Besides, I never got to watch Tiger King on Netflix. I feel like maybe I really missed out on something there. Oh, Dad, it's so good. And I'll probably be meeting up with a friend of mine online. A new friend. A female friend? Yes. It's not Phyllis Gunderson, is it? No, no. People really need to stop trying to make that happen. <laughs> well, Dad, I think this is great. Honey, listen, if you want to talk about it. Hey, happy and healthy is all I want for you, too. Thank you, sweetheart. Simone, you sent me one of your Etsy deliveries! I am so sorry, Becca. I swear I triple-checked this stuff. I sort my labels by zip code. I don't know how this happened. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna post a note on my shop, and as soon as we find out where it ended up, I will ship it overnight. Christmas is tomorrow! Becca, Mateo thought it was lost forever, but you found it. Sure, you may not have it this Christmas, but you'll get it back. You can pick up the tradition next year. Yeah, there's always next year. Ta-da! I think we'd be safe if we went ahead and opened the bedroom door now. It doesn't have to be exactly two weeks. We can't. I've got it all timed out. I've been... I have a little surprise I've been working on. Oh, no. Mateo, please don't do anything else sweet for me. Huh? For the last two weeks, I've tried very hard to do something nice for you, and it all fell apart today. So, if you've got some amazing gesture planned, I'm just gonna sit there feeling like a monster. Hey, for two weeks you've been a face on a screen or a blur I see moving from the bedroom to the bathroom and I strongly suspect the kitchen. The only Christmas present that I want is you. Same here. I love you very much, Mateo. I love you too. So, can I come out of the bedroom? Uh, no. You may not. I messed up the delivery of the sweet potato. Oh no. How? I had a bunch of packages going out. I must have mixed up one of the packages. I feel terrible. Mistakes happen. Don't beat yourself up. Thank you. I'm glad you texted. <laughs> I'm glad you responded. <laughs> you think things will be back to normal next year? Who can say? They'll be different, I know that for sure. The only true constant is change. Some days, that's reassuring. Yes, it is. So it sounds like things are going well with the Etsy shop. Yeah, business has been booming ever since I got mentioned in GQ. Hey there, handsome. Well, look at you, hot stuff. I was gonna save the big reveal for when I opened the door. No, I promise, the preview only builds anticipation. Dad said he wanted to talk to both of us. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Someone's been watching Tiger King. And it is wild. I w Listen, I know your isolation ends at seven. I just wanted to call and wish you a Merry Christmas. Thanks, Mr. Harrington. Do you wanna say hi? Hey! Thea? What are- You know, 
I, I hadn't seen Tiger King either. Cecilia and I decided to make a double bubble for a few days. I'm so confused. How do you even know each other? Oh, you two can sort out those details on your own. It'll make for a fascinating dinner conversation. <laughs> oh, uh, Mateo, Patrick told me to ask if you got the mask that he sent you. Oh, yeah. The package came today. I I've been so busy I didn't open it. This is really cool, you guys. I don't know how this happened, but I'm glad it did. Oh, is Mateo getting a gift at dinner? That's a whole thing. I'll tell you later. The important thing is that we're together. Yes, that's what's important. Because no matter what the year brings, there is still joy to be found, still surprises. I'm grateful for that. Even when the year is as crazy as the one that we've had, don't ever give up hope, sweetheart. What? Oh my look! Oh baby, Becca found your ugly yam! <laughs> now it's really Christmas. <laughs> and it sounds like it's time for your dinner. Well, we'll let you get to it. Mm-hmm. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> I don't know how you manage this. To be completely honest, I'm not sure either. <laughs> well, dinner's ready. Will you join me? What are we having? It's a family recipe. I think you'll like it. <laughs> 